I will breathe a whole lot better once it's parked on the land. <laughs> Hey there dreamers, Anne Marie here with Big Dreams Homestead and oh happy day. So I just got a text from the mobile home mover and he is about 15 minutes away so I am just patiently waiting for them to pull up with it. Anyhow, I will check back in with you guys soon. I'll be able to breathe really good once it's on the property and all buttoned tied down. So the seller had gone back and she looked through her timeline and I purchased the home on the 23rd and of March. And what we thought was gonna take three to four weeks is actually taken three months. So yeah, here they come. So exciting. I'll check back in with you guys. Okay guys, so just giving you all an update. I had electric put in since they came out. And when they put the electric in, it used to be uh, somewhere up here. It used to be right here. And they apparently moved it right there, which is the exact location where they were going to pull up that way and then back the trailer in here. But now this pole's in the way and they can't pull up that way enough to clear this pole. So instead, now they have to back the trailer all the way down this long road here and around this corner and up into the lot. So, yeah, thank you telephone company people because if they had left it 10 feet that way more, it wouldn't be in the way and they could have just backed it in easily. So, prayers that all goes well and... Uh, they should be backing it down the, the hill here really soon. It looks so tiny. <laughs> it's, a, it's a 14 by 56. 56. Yeah. It's wider than I thought it was. <laughs> It's like threading a needle, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Watch that tree behind you. Whoa, 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 whoa. You're good. Probably clear. Oh, I didn't even see that one. So there weren't no snakes living under it where it was? I didn't see any. I'm oh good. <laughs>
good. He's okay. I'm going to pop over there. Yeah. Is he trying to follow that thing all around? Okay. Hello. Hello. Smile, you're on candy camera. <laughs> Coming up on this bank a little bit, Damien? Yeah, the trailer's gonna get spot on about the trailer. Yeah, I think he's all right. Yeah. He might get around in this thing. There's my lovely back door. It's still on there. I'm surprised. Uh, it was hanging on by one piece of wire. Yeah, I, I know. It's screwed on me right now. Oh, okay, you guys screwed it yeah. shut. Yeah, which we usually do. Where's the hand lift? Straight back. Is he gonna need it right there? Man, it looks like it's gonna fall right on through. Why did take the down there and then turn right here? Man, it's following it good, Damien. It looks like it might roll around with it. Huh? It's gonna come up on that bank stuff, but I don't think that's the bank is here. Yeah, the bank is that left back here. Okay. Hey. Oh my rub. We got it, we got it. Keep bringing me back. Just finally follow this turn. It's alright. He yelled me to the pole for him too. Yeah, Watch that frame on that other side. Can you cut it a little? Can you cut it a little bit more that way? Real close. Not much. Just, just a little bit. You don't need it. Just the other way. There. That'll float there. There you go. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. You see? It's just a little bit of that bank and it breaks back over the road. He look good back here, too, bud? Yeah. All right, all right. Can you see that tire yet? No, no. Up here, hey, up here, bud. Not yet, no. Okay. Hey, what you doing back here on frame? Let's turn to this way, Mark. Okay, it's cold over here. That way. You good? You got it.
tree yet? No, we haven't cleared it yet. You got about another foot to clear the tree so we can just put the tree and lift under it. Tell me when I'm clearing the tree. Alright, alright. All right. More. Two foot. Dog. More. A little bit more. more. A little bit more. more. Sorry. Get out of your way. You're here to drive. And get us well, there. Hey, get us good, good. Crap, we don't want to be there. Be good. <sighs>
okay. guys because I want to show you how perfectly they got this between my little oh, orange flags oh it's like spot on so they got it spot on on all the corners just perfect Well, they got here at 3.30 and it's now 7. It took them, I think, almost two hours to get it down the street and up here. And then the rest of that time they were blocking it and stuff. But, yeah, this is the back side. Oh, and they're taking the hitch off for me now, so I don't have to deal with that. But that's the back side. So the outside of it's pretty good. The roof of it is good. They told me to... Uh, put sealant on the roof which I was already planning on doing so this is master bedroom it's down here can't go in it yet because there's no stairs but bathroom little office bedroom second bedroom living room this window fell out on the road front door will be replaced completely replaced and made bigger And then this is the kitchen area with the double windows, but that may change. That may not be the kitchen area. So good. They got the block, I mean the hitch off, so yay. Hey there dreamers, Anne-Marie here with Big Dreams Homestead and I am inside the mobile home that smells really bad. <laughs> but, and it's like 95 degrees outside and 200% humidity. So, but I did get inside and I'm gonna show you guys real quick what the before pictures look like. Hopefully it won't look like this for long. So this is the front door, which will obviously be replaced. Uh, I had a heck of a time trying to get into it and it looks like somebody kicked it in several times and then to the right of the front door is this kitchen with this lovely bar that's gonna be gone <laughs> with the purple countertops and this is what I like the most about this home was these windows and they go almost to the ceiling and almost to the floor and there is four of them, and I absolutely love them. And then this is the current kitchen. I will probably switch these around and put the kitchen over along that wall and make this a living room, but I haven't decided for sure yet. I'd just like to have the bathroom and the kitchen close, closer together. Uh, so this is a kitchen, refrigerator, cabinets, there is a known leak down in here. This is where the stove was. And there's a known leak underneath here. Oh, I'm gonna have to get a dumpster and a hazmat suit. <laughs> and for those of you that watched when I was looking at different homes, this is the home that had the electrical that's all burned out. So we'll be pulling all the electrical and I'll be replacing all of that. So living room, huge hole by the door, a huge hole in the, in the floor there. This window is the only one that we lost the glass on. Uh -huh. 
even got a hornet's nest up in the window there. <laughs> but this is, oh, there is one pane of glass laying there, so I could probably put that in. <laughs> Good. Then this is the other side of the living room, the other side of that bar, so that's gonna go, and this is all gonna be one big open area. Down the hallway, the heater. They unfortunately, when they finally got to moving this, the AC condenser unit outside was already stolen by vandals, I guess. And this is the second bedroom. So this flooring all needs to be replaced, and I'm assuming that there's water damage to this to the um, joists underneath. And all these walls are coming out. But this is the second little bedroom and I haven't decided what I'm gonna do with this yet, if I'm gonna keep it a bedroom or make it a laundry room slash uh, pantry or what I'm doing with it, but I shall decide that later. The scary electrical box that's gonna be gone. I don't know what that guy did with it. Uh, the back door, they had to actually screw it shut because it was just hanging on by one wire. And then this is laundry area here. And I believe the washer goes there and the dryer was supposed to go on that side, but that's all gonna get changed up. Oh, it's a thousand degrees in here. Okay, the super scary bathroom that you can't see real well because he painted it all black, I think. But it doesn't matter, it's all gonna get gutted. Okay, underneath this board is a big old hole. It goes right to the ground, so all this is gonna get ripped out. Toilet will, of course, get ripped out because I will have a composting toilet in here. But all the tub is gonna get come out, the shower, all that, and this huge ugly uh, bathroom sink that, <laughs> And then this is where the water damage was coming from, is above that vent pipe. And we think that there's more behind this wall here because that's what leaked into the bedroom side on the other side of that wall. Okay, and then back out into the hallway, and this is the master bedroom. Not huge, but I plan to put a big window in this, um, well, here, I'm not supposed to be a closet over there. This was the water heater closet. I think I'm gonna knock out the wall on the other side and it'll become a linen closet on this other side. So this would be door to the linen closet here, right off the bathroom. But yeah, this is, where all the work begins, this whole unit is coming out. That'll also be another closet, probably a coat closet. And hopefully I'm not moving this camera around too, too much. But see how much light comes in those windows there? I just absolutely love that. And I'd also like to put in another window somewhere on this wall because this window here is the only window to the back side of, you know, the backyard. So, other than that back door. So maybe another window in the hallway or something to open it up, make it look or feel bigger. But, I came over here, oh look, here's another huge hole in the floor. I didn't even see that one when we came. Initially, there's probably something nesting in there. But all these subfloors are going to get replaced. The other hole that I knew of is back in that corner behind all the skirting. And uh, yeah, I don't think I'm keeping any of the skirting. But I am going to use it now to cover up this window because we do have rain coming this week. Yes, it is hot. It's dripping sweat. That is the mobile for now.
Hopefully very soon I will get to come out here and build the steps up to the front door, get a front door and a back door installed, and uh, find some windows so I can replace the ones that are horribly broken. Hopefully find enough windows to replace all of them because none of them are double pane, but uh, there's quite a few that have, uh, there's bugs flying all around me. <laughs> There's quite a few of them that need to be replaced immediately because they're like, this one is cracked on the inside here. That one's broken. That one on the end is broken. I think all four of those on the end is broken. So uh, yeah, I'd rather just replace them all with double pane as soon as I can find the correct size or a size that I can reframe and fit into there. I will go ahead and do that. So. Stay tuned, but yay, it's finally here and now the real work begins. It took three months. It was three months from the day I purchased it to the day it finally got delivered, thanks to Mother Nature. <laughs> so, uh, no more rain now. Unfortunately, I could sure use some rain because it's so hot, but I will get busy. I will talk to you guys soon. Thanks for following along.